Alright guys, so Creatures of Scenario has updated and they added in the Traveler's Gotcha that contains the two new creatures for this week's update and we're going to be checking them out. So yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see right here, this is the Kono Mushi, one of the new creatures. And right here is the Haxaline, one of the other new creatures. And how I got them is I went up to the Mushrooms for the creatures and I bought them inside of the store shop since uh, if you guys really want them right now, you're going to have to do a lot of grinding and I'll be showcasing these for you guys later in the video and um yeah uh they are pretty uh cheap here in the shop but remember these are only stored ones it's actually not the real species so if you die as them you have to revive it or if you don't have a revive token you have to delete it so um yeah buy it at your own risk all right guys so um yeah now let's check out the travelers gotcha okay so it is now time to check out the new gotcha where you can actually get these two new creatures the konamushi and the haxaline so um, yeah click on buy creatures and then scroll all the way to the end to the new travelers gotcha and the haxaline and the konamushi are both in there and holy cow guys okay so there are a ton of missions that we have to complete and i actually don't know how to do some of these Okay, so um, I gotta go and figure this out very quickly. Uh, I will be right back. A few moments later. Okay, so from the looks of it, the Traveler's Gotcha, nobody has actually unlocked it yet because it is actually gonna take at least two days to complete it. And um, I mean, you don't have to grind two days straight, but um, what I mean is that some of the missions are gonna be taking multiple days. And as you can see right here, the studs ones, these traveling studs on land, travel studs on sea, and traveling studs by air, uh, those are all really easy to do, but the harder ones are the other ones. And I'll be going through them with you guys right now. Okay, so for the first mission, as you can see, it says get 10 kills using two plus daily stat boost creatures, five each. So what that means is, let's go back to the menu screen, right? And go to back and go to all creatures. As you can see, this yellow plus sign right here is the stat boost creature. And it is the stat boost creature for today. So it's gonna be here for the next six hours. And um, this is gonna be changing onto like any random creature. Hopefully it is not a healing creature because I don't think healing creatures can actually kill anything. And if it does, that would suck. And um, yeah, so you gotta get five kills with the Nemuna, for example and um then again the stat boost is going to be on like a different creature every single day so you just got to look for what it is and then you got to be that creature and then get five kills with it and then wait for the next day get another five kills with the stat boost creature so um i don't know if you guys understood that um it is kind of hard to understand but um yeah that's basically what you got to do for that mission okay so for the next mission as you can see it says zero out of two daily growth boost creatures grown so basically what that means is let's go back to here again and now we want to look for the plus sign that has daily growth boost creature and that one is the bar skella and you got to grow this creature right so you got to grow this creature right here and it's probably not going to be this creature maybe when you're watching this video maybe it is maybe it's not but the growth boost is currently on this creature the bar skella so if you guys don't have it um you're gonna have to wait for the next rotation which is from the looks of it the next five hours so um yeah it just depends when you're watching this video so be sure to just scroll down all the creature lists and look for the creature that has the growth boost on it and um yeah you just gotta grow this creature and then you gotta wait for the next day and then grow another creature that is not this creature that is currently on and um yeah that is how you complete that mission so um yeah let's go into the next mission okay so the next mission is 60 minutes using two plus glimmer boost creatures 30 minutes per creature so basically what that means is let's put it back and then go to all creatures and then scroll through all of the creatures again until you find the purple plus sign which means glimmer boost and for today it is on this creature the zoevia list and pretty much what you got to do is survive or just play as this creature 30 minutes and then that is it and then you gotta wait for the next day so as you can see um you gotta wait for the next day or right here the next five hours for this glimmer boost to transfer to like a whole another creature and hopefully you have this uh, the creature that it transfers to and um yeah if you don't then you just gotta wait for the next rotation and um yeah you just gotta do that and then survive as that creature for 30 minutes and um yeah honestly these missions it just takes like a lot of time and um hopefully you guys have the creatures for them and um yeah i again i'm not sure why you have to do this when it's a traveler's gotcha 
but um yeah that is how you complete all of the missions but um yeah i'm not sure if you do all these missions you'll actually unlock it permanently but um yeah again nobody has unlocked this so nobody is too sure yet so um yeah good luck to you all and now let's get onto the showcase of the creatures all right guys so we have spawned in as the new mantis creature and as you can see let's check out stats so the stats so as you can see the kono mushi has 2000 hp and it does 650 damage it's a tier 4 and it's a carnivore and that is actually insane so it does a lot of damage but it, it's not that tanky it only has 2000 hp so it can be killed pretty easily but it will probably put up a pretty good fight since it does 650 damage and it is really 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 cool and man this is really cool i'm pretty sure this is like the first mantis creature that has been added into the game and i mean the poly monstrum has like claws of like the uh, of, of like a mantis you know but um, this is like the first official mantis creature which is really really cool and um you know mantises can fly so so can this one and let's check out its flying animation look at this guys this is actually insane look at this this is sick this is actually so cool but um yeah guys let's check out its ability so the first ability that it has is it can go invisible so let's land right here and press on q and just like that we are now invisible which is really good for sneaking up on people i mean once you move you turn like uninvisible but like you can like you know you can spam it and keep on toggling it try to stay invisible but um yeah it has the invisible ability which is really really cool and then the next ability that it has is it has the passive ability streamline so pretty much what streamline does is um i'm kind of shocked that it does have this ability so i'm not sure if it can swim but we're gonna be testing it out let's go in the water okay so we are now inside of the water and um oh we're stuck on a rock oh gosh okay there we go oh wow okay so um I think it actually might be able to swim or maybe not but um yeah the streamline ability pretty much what it does is you have to be submerged in water for more than 15 seconds and then you get like a ton of boost which is kind of weird because um I mean, we're losing a lot of stamina if we can die from that and i don't know why a mantis would want to swim but um yeah okay let's get out of the water oh gosh swim but um yeah you get a bunch of boosts if you uh submerge yourself for 15 seconds and it's pretty insane and kind of shocking that um has the that ability but the next one it has is ligament tear which makes a lot of sense because would you look at these claws yeah um those would definitely tear ligaments and um it is the weaker version of bone break status and uh pretty much what it does is that you have a chance to inflict it onto uh enemies that you're attacking right and then um pretty much if it does inflict it reduces their walk speed by 40 percent and it cuts their stamina regeneration by uh, half i believe and um yeah it is really really good so it's really good for slowing down enemies you can take them down slowly and the thing that's kind of sad that this creature doesn't have is it doesn't have bleed you know because i mean for a creature like this i would expect it to have bleed but it doesn't but um, that is all right because it's literally a mantis creature which is cool enough already all right so now let's check out its animations okay so this is the z animation right here look at this oh that is sick there we go and then let's do the x animation there we go and then the n animation oh slowly going down there we go oh look at that that is really cool and then let's do the sitting animation then the sleepy animation there we go okay so those are all the animations and this is honestly a really really cool creature not even gonna lie and um, be sure to tell them down in the comments what are your thoughts on this creature and um yeah uh it's gonna be really hard to get because the travelers gotcha the missions are gonna take a while okay guys so here it is the haxalign and <laughs> yo look at this look at the face like look at his eyes it's so tiny look at this guys it just looks so like it looks so grumpy and angry like i don't know if it's just me but it looks really angry but um yeah let's spawn in and check it out here we are we are finally in the water so um yeah here it is the haxalign and again it looks really really grumpy like look at it guys it looks really mad like it just wants to like punch somebody with its fins but um yeah uh, it has a shell it has a tail 
and it's really really cool and um let's click on its stats so as you can see it is a tier 3 it has 4800 damage or not damage hp and it does 350 damage and that is actually insane like i'm not even gonna lie it's really really good stats for like a tier 3 and um the thing that about this creature is uh it's literally a aquatic so like um if you guys like aquatic creatures or you actually play as aquatic creatures well congrats there's a new one but um i believe this creature is actually quite heavy because i did spawn in earlier and i was actually able to grab a shot and um yeah it's pretty it's pretty strong and it should be pretty heavy because i believe the shell is pretty heavy but um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this creature let's check out the animations all right let's go back in the water all right so here we go let's check out the sea animation right here there we go. Ooh, look at that. Good little head swing. Epic. Okay, let's do the Z animation. There we go. And the N animation. Oh, wait, I forgot. I, I keep forgetting creatures that are aquatic don't have N animation. Okay, let's do the sitting animation now. And the sleeping animation. Look at that. Really, really cool. Really, really cool creature. And, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. And I'm not sure about its abilities, but... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Look at that, guys. It has a breath? Wait, what? This thing has a breath. Okay, that's actually insane. Okay, that, that makes this creature, like, a little bit better. But, um, yeah, it has a breath. Look at that. It has the water breath from a little bit. Or, uh, maybe a storm breath. I don't know. But, I mean, it's aquatic creature. It has to be water breath. But, um, yeah, guys. That is pretty much it for this creature. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.